believe that the characters we read about on the page end up being more real than the men who stand beside us. The books, movies, and stories about John F. Kennedy are countless. So for the new film Jackie, they went with a different approach and instead focused on his first lady. The role is played by Natalie Portman, who's already been nominated for a Golden Globe for her portrayal. In this segment, however, we won't be looking at the star, but instead put screenwriter Noah Oppenheim in the spotlight. I'm a journalist by trade, and I'm a lifelong political junkie, and I've always been fascinated by the Kennedys and specifically Jackie's role in crafting the mythology of that family, of her husband's administration, and I'd always thought that, like so many women in history, she had never really gotten her proper due. Most times when Jackie Kennedy is portrayed in popular culture, it's through the lens of her style, her elegance, uh, people talk about her marriage, uh, but I never thought that she got the credit that she deserved for being really a genius of marketing, public relations, um, image creation, and myth-making. And so I always thought that was ripe territory to explore. I'm saying Jack. Jack, can you hear me? Jack, I love you, Jack. When exploring Jackie Kennedy, I, I chose to focus on the week between her husband's assassination and his burial uh, for a number of reasons. First, I'm simply just not a fan of cradle-to-grave biopics. Uh, I always think uh, it's more productive in terms of if you're trying to illuminate who a person was to find a specific moment in their life, uh, especially if it's a moment when they're going through some sort of crucible. I find that that's oftentimes says more about who they were than trying to cover every event uh, in the course of their lifetime. If you're interested in JFK's powerful widow, then you can watch her now in Jackie. Like what you see? Subscribe to our channel for more exclusive clips.